evaluate the limit of this massive expression and we're gonna start by just uh, looking at okay what's the the highest x exponent here at the bottom and it's gonna be x squared and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna multiply the top of the fraction by 1 over x squared and 1 over x squared as well okay so what is that gonna simplify to we're gonna get we're, we're gonna have to expand this right there so 2x squared times 1 over x is just 2 negative 3x times 1 over x squared is negative 3 over x 1 times 1 over x squared is just 1 over x squared all over 3 3x squared times 1 over x squared is just 3 7x times 1 over x squared is just 7 over x and finally 4 times 1 over x squared is 4 over x squared. Great. Okay, so now basically we can work on the limits individually for each component here. So the limit as x approaches infinity for 2 is just 2. The limit as x approaches infinity for negative 3 over x is 0. Why is that? Again, I'll explain it one more time, I guess. Every time that we have lim as x approaches infinity for c over a co any constant over x, that's just 0. That's it. Um, and right here, lim as x approaches infinity for 1 over x squared, also just 0. What about down here? Lim as x approaches infinity for 3, just 3. Oops. That was a terrible 3 before. Lim as x approaches infinity for 7 over x is just 0. And finally, limit as x approaches infinity for 4 over x squared, also 0. Final answer, 2 over 3. That's it. For similar questions, you know where to go.